What is going on everybody today? We're looking at Tesla software update 2020.32.3. But really quick, Tesla, I gotta say, I know sometimes you guys check out these videos and I think I've been left off the early update list. Uh, so I would like to be put back on there. I used to get these updates really soon and now, you know, I see everybody else installing them, all happy, dancing around. And I just keep refreshing my phone. I just keep uh, coming, checking my car at, you know, midnight, no joke. I come out here and turn the screen on. And I got nothing for days. So, you know, here's my VIN if you want to put me back on that list. All right, so here are the release notes. If you want to pause and read these, you can. And I do also want to say thank you to Ryan, my newest patron. I did thank him in the last video, but it didn't actually show me putting the, his card in the frunk. Uh, so here you go. Thank you so much for that. Welcome to the frunk. Uh, so the first one here is Tesla Powerwall Coordination. And this allows you to make sure that your car tops up smartly while the power is out. So if you have a power wall, your car will only charge when the power is out if the power wall is above a certain percentage. This is really amazing. And for me, the coolest thing, power wall can also use surplus solar to charge your vehicle during an outage. Uh, having solar at home, uh, that's one thing I wish I could tell my car, like if I'm making above a certain amount of energy, just charge up to 90%. I don't care what time of day it is or anything. As it is now, I have to manually do that and it's really annoying. I don't currently have any power walls with my solar. I would love one or two. If you're thinking about getting solar, use my Tesla referral code in the description. You'll get a hundred bucks. And if I get 10 referrals, I'll get a free power wall, which would be amazing. Car left open notifications. Basically, if you leave a door or trunk or frunk open or if the car is locked you leave a window open the car will notify you after 10 minutes i'll just throw up a screenshot right here um, i'll test this out in a bit and you can just see a screenshot of what that looks like it'll of course send it to the app on your phone close windows on lock your car will now automatically roll up all your windows when your car's locked that's a really cool idea i hadn't really thought of i don't open my windows all that often uh, but for if you do and you park and you just don't want to really worry about it it'd be kind of weird i guess to walk away with your windows rolled down but now when your car locks, it'll automatically roll them up. So we will try that out. Notification history, easily review all your past notifications. We've actually been able to do this for a few versions. I'm not sure why they included the release notes uh, this time, but yep, that's something you can do. And then a few other things. If you have a Model S or X, this update will bring suspension improvements. I hear it's really cool. You can see a lot more data and it's a lot more customizable. And one thing that's not in the release notes, when you are backing up and your um, camera is on, this will actually be transparent. So we will try that out because that's been really annoying for me. Now that they have the new camera set up here, whoops, um, they have the new camera set up here where if you have it all up, right, you have the side cameras and you have the back camera. I need to wipe that off. Um, this would come down like that and it would block part of the camera um, and now it won't do that but i'm noticing that these are not okay wow that's taking a long time to load those normally that's a lot faster so i don't know if it's just because this update is a little fresh or what's going on okay so backing into the driveway here you can see my backup cameras are all on and this notification that would focus is transparent so you can see right through it and this is pretty important for me I'll show you why let me back up some more now unfortunately this is still broken so you can see as i back up this number is supposed to count down this 50 feet is supposed to say you know auto open in 50 40 whatever and then auto open when you get to a certain spot and it never in reverse will do it it will only do it when you pull in which i back in so it's kind of annoying but anyway you can see behind this let me get the focus for you Well, I messed it up and I won't come back, but the bar was right here above my garage door. So I'd be backing in and I couldn't even see my garage because it would block it. So that was a nice improvement for me. So here are the settings for the door left open notification or for the windows. You can set it to off so it will never tell you. You will not be notified if your car is left open. Doors, you will be notified if any trunk or door is left open. Doors and windows, notified of everything. Exclude home. Actually, for doors and windows, I don't want them left open even at home, so I'm not gonna exclude home for this one. Lock confirmation sound. Um, yep, I do that usually. I think that's the horn honking. And then close windows on lock. I'm gonna enable that as well. So I leave it so my walkaway door unlock, sorry, I keep changing the focus. I leave my settings so the walkaway door unlock doesn't happen at home. So my car won't automatically lock when I'm at home, but I'm wondering if I lock it with the app, if it'll close the window. So let's check it out. Okay, so I just got my windows tinted. Yes, a video is coming about that. I love it. Um, so I can't roll them down too much. I just literally got it done yesterday. But um, there it is. You can see the window is rolled down just a little bit. So again, my car will not automatically lock when I'm at home, but I'm gonna have my app here. I'm gonna lock it. 
and you can see the window went up when I locked it. So that's a pretty cool setting. Um, again, I don't know, not that useful for me, but if you maybe just crack them a little bit or whatever. And then of course, you know, one other thing that'll be interesting is from the controls here, you know, if you don't know, you can actually vent your windows. So if you click that button, they all roll down just a tiny bit. Pretty similar to when you're just opening and closing the doors. I wonder if you'd get a notification for that. All right, and here we are. You can see oh, maybe my timer's about to go off. Um, it's been almost exactly 10 minutes. And here's my notification. The front driver's side door has been left open. Over to the car, you can see here that I just left it like that. Now I tried this at first with the frunk um, and it didn't work. And I think it's because number one, I may, maybe because I closed it with my phone. And number two, I still had my car connected to Bluetooth. So to test this, I just turned Bluetooth off on my phone so that my phone wouldn't be connected to my car. And then I got this notification at like pretty much exactly 10 minutes. Another thing I've noticed, I really hate this change they made. It used to be when you look at the map with the chargers, all the chargers you could reach with like your current state of charge, so I have 231 miles, they would all be a dark red, and all the ones you couldn't reach without first stopping to charge somewhere on the way would look like this. They'd be, you know, kind of translucent or transparent like this. Um, and now they just all look like that. I'm not sure why would they would make that change. Kind of um, not a good decision in my opinion, but uh, that is different. I think it's been like that for a few versions, but I'm just kind of commenting on it now. All right, and then the last one, uh, looking at past notifications, under controls, like if it ever says controls, it means click this car, service, and then notifications. Again, I don't know why the release notes are in this one. It's been, I just did it like a few days ago before I got this, um, but these are all, you know, my past um, notifications. I just got this one earlier, vehicle automatically parked to prevent roll away. I was in here and I had it in hold mode and I just kind of lifted out of the seat to look in the back seat and it puts the car in park automatically so the car can't roll away. But this is uh, your past notifications that you can look at. And also you can see here the driver's door open notification that I just showed you on my phone. Proceed with caution. <laughs> look out, somebody might be in your car. Hey, one more. Does it look and sound different? Because I'm filming this much later because uh, I forgot this one. Not in the release notes again. So again, if you see anything I didn't mention, camera calibration in service. So this used to be something you'd have to have done by Tesla. When you get your windshield replaced, you know, your cameras are up here. Um, your front cameras are up here. And if your windshield gets replaced, it can mess up the calibration of those cameras. And before we didn't have an option, now you can click this. And here's the message. I'll let you pause and read that. Um, here, let me focus for you. There you go. I'll let you pause and read that. But basically, this will recalibrate your cameras in case something is off. You should never really need to do this unless you get a windshield replaced. Um, but either way, it's really nice now that they gave us that. Kind of like, you know, they gave us this wheel configuration you know, 18 inch, we can, you know, put whatever wheels we want. We didn't used to be able to do that. That used to be Tesla service only. And also this one, reset TPMS sensors. I don't know when this was added, but this is also newer. Um, so it's nice that they're giving us these options because you're not going to hurt anything. And then um, you can do that without having to debug Tesla. If you enjoyed this one, please hit like and get subscribed. It's getting late. Mosquitoes are coming out. Uh, so that's it for this one. If you notice anything else that I didn't talk about in this release, please comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, overall, pretty nice one. More convenience features added. Uh, always love to see that. So hopefully, you know, what we want is the autopilot rewrite. Hopefully that's coming soon. Another six weeks or so, six to eight weeks, I would say, um, based off of what Elon said. And uh, then we'll be doing some sweet autopilot stuff. So hope you enjoyed this one. I will talk to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along. <laughs>